Hello ladies and genitals. Today, I'm gonna tell you everything I wish I knew in high school. This is a green screen, so I can't actually see my PowerPoint, but things I would have K-worded to know in high school, things I would have D-worded to know in high school. And I'm not gonna lie, I knew most of these things in high school because I'm built different, I'm kidding. Not really though. But there are some things I wish you would know. I would D-word, K-word for you to know if you're in high school. Ladies and G-words, shall we get started? Let's get started. No one cares about you. People are way too concerned about what they're doing to worry about you. So if you wanna go achieve something, do a YouTube channel, do TikTok, go for it, who cares? Worry less about what others are doing, worry more about what you are doing. If others are worried about what you are doing, well, they're a loser. Winners focus on winning. Losers focus on winners. This point is something I wish I knew. It would have saved me a lot of heartache. But the people you're friends with at the beginning of high school, it is very unlikely you're going to be friends with them at the end of high school. You're probably going to shift friend groups a lot. People change so much in high school, so you're going to grow apart. You're going to make new friends. By your final year, senior year, year 12, you should have found the people that you really connect with. And if you haven't, don't worry because you're probably going to meet them later in life. When you're in high school, you're literally forced to be friends with people. They're like, hey, here's a cohort of 200 to 1,000 people. Go find your people within them. And considering how many people there are in the world, it's actually very unlikely you're going to find people who truly resonate with you. So when you get into the real world and you're not in high school anymore, you can actually choose to be friends with people who are more similar to you. You're not gonna see 98% of those people ever again. So do what the hell you want. Seriously, it really doesn't matter what they think. Something I would always ask myself is, will this matter in five years time? If I ever gave anything too much thought or cared too much about what the people in my high school thought, I just kept thinking, will this matter in five years? For example, my YouTube channel. I really was afraid of people finding my channel, but it didn't stop me. I still made videos and you know, people did find out about my channel. I was a little bit embarrassed, but I would say to myself, Simone, in five years, when you're making bank and you're living in Sydney, when you're a boss and you've got a wonderful fan base, will it matter? No, it won't. Number four is appreciate your youth and don't put so much pressure on yourself at this age because right now you have to do a lot of studying. You might hate studying and think, oh my God, I don't like studying. Babes, it is a privilege to not like to study. It is a privilege to have to study because once you're out of school and maybe you're in college, not only do you have to think about studying, but you gotta think about how to pay the bills getting a job, student loans, the real world, what are you gonna do after you graduate? You're gonna have a pile of problems on your plate. When you're in high school, there's really not that much for you to think about. You think about what am I gonna wear when I see my crush in the hallway tomorrow? Oh, I gotta do 20 math problems, give it to Mr. Jansen by tomorrow and I don't know how to do it. This is a privilege. Enjoy the fact that the only thing you have to worry about is studying at the moment. Don't date. I never dated in high school and I'm actually so happy I didn't. And I'll tell you the reason why. You are so beyond immature in high school and you may think that you're immature, but you're not. Even when I got into my first relationship at 19, I look back at myself and I'm a different person. And I think about how differently I would have done things if I got into a relationship at my current age of 21. I just don't think dating's a good idea in high school because you're just so impressionable and you're immature. You're not gonna have the best possible relationship. It's a given that most couples in high school break up. And in high school, when they've had really bad partners because they got into a relationship so young, that kind of shapes the partners they're going to choose later in life. Sometimes you're too young to like learn from mistakes and it just continues to spiral. So focus on friendships and studying. Don't focus on boys or girls. It's okay to get help and it's okay to ask for help. It will not make you less of a student. At the beginning of high school, I would never ask for help, uh, especially if I found something really difficult. As school progressively got harder, I started to ask for help from my teachers and also the internet. 
I exhausted every possible resource and a resource that really, really benefited me was Chegg. Thanks Chegg for sponsoring this video. I solemnly swear that I actually used Chegg in high school a lot. Because how many times have you been stuck on a problem when time is of the essence and you literally don't know what to do, you can't find a solution, you're too afraid to ask someone. You know, sometimes you even like ask a teacher to explain something and they go through it so quickly and then you're too embarrassed to ask them to repeat it. So I would just upload my problem to Chegg and then wait for one of the tutors or experts to send me the step-by-step -step solution to my problem. And it's right there in writing. I can look back at it at any time and that was the best. So you get access to exam prep and you have video walkthroughs and you can ask experts for help on anything. And it's not just math problems. It also is writing help or exam prep and it's just overall dedicated to empowering students. So guys, Use my link in the bio to get $5 off your Chegg study pack for the first month. I promise you it's going to help you. It's just going to benefit you. It is okay to ask for help. And everyone on Chegg just wants to see you flourish and thrive. And you will. Join the 94%. <laughs> Number eight is perhaps one of the most important points. And it is the fact that you do not need to know everything right now. There's so much pressure when you're in high school to have everything figured out. You have literally four years to decide what degree you're gonna do, what you wanna do for the rest of your life. And it's a bit crazy to think about it because you're barely a developed person at that age. So how can they expect you to know what to do? What I would say is when you're young, especially in high school, take this time to explore as many different interests as possible. That's what I did. And even then, you still might change what you want to do and you might change in uni. A lot of people change their degrees. Just be a bit relaxed about that and in enjoy your youth. Don't put much pressure on yourself. It's not the end of the world if you don't go to uni. There are other ways. It's not for everyone. Even the career you might choose to do, you might change that and that's completely fine and normal and very, very common. Take your grades more seriously. I always took my grades seriously, but this is for the people who don't, who are like, grades don't define me. I don't want to study. Babe, study. You know why? Even if you choose to not go to uni, sometimes employers will look at your grades. While grades like don't define you, they define a little bit of you because it is a reflection of how hard you're willing to work. I didn't like studying. I grew to like it. I made myself like it. I like it now. Say you decide you don't want to try hard in school because you know you're not going to go to college or uni. It is always good to get good grades just as a backup plan. Think about it this way. It's only four years of your life where you have to study this hard if you don't want to go to college. And you might go become a construction worker and then when you're 24 decide that you want to go back to school. At least you have this backup there and it's four years of your life where you worked hard and it's just beneficial to you. You're not losing out on anything. Don't go to parties, or at least the ones you know I'm thinking about. The sketchy ones, the ones which basically are the popular kids who, depending on your school, my school, I would say the popular kids were kind of dodgy. Like they were literally sketchy. They just did drugs, wagged school, didn't get good grades. Don't go to those types of parties, I mean. Because the chances are high that as an impressionable teen, you are just going to get peer pressured into drinking or doing drugs or smoking. You might get essayed. It is so common. I was having a conversation with my friend the other day who went to a different school and she was like, I was the only one in my entire grade that didn't get essayed. She never went to parties. She basically just tried to avoid <laughs> that group of people. And I've seen in my high school, it is so easy in high school to go down the wrong pathway, especially if you don't have a goal, especially if people just want to be popular and join that group. Most of the popular kids, I think we all know this, they peak in high school, they flop later on. By all means, go have fun and go to like the right parties, the ones where you know are safe and like with your friends. But the parties which you know what I'm talking about are sketchy, Avoid them. Wear less makeup. I look like a clown. Wear less makeup. Also know that you're gonna learn how to do your face better. Just know, you're going to change a lot. 
When you're in high school, your world is your school. Well, that's why it matters so much what people think of you in high school. Like you just think about it so often and what other people are doing because it's your whole world. But know when you get out of school, it changes. No one cares. Remember, will this matter in five years? When you leave school, you might feel depressed and lost. I never felt depressed in high school, very privileged, because I was so tunnel, lasered, focused on my goals that I just didn't have time to be depressed, didn't have time to think about anything else. Now when I left school, within one week of leaving, I was so lost. I'm like, what the hell do I do now? And I fell into a depression that lasted one and a half years until I finally found what I had to do afterwards. <laughs> YouTube saved me, gave me purpose again. And know that feeling lost is very normal. Being smart and studying is cool. If people make you feel like a nerd because you're studying during break because you want to get better grades, babes, studying is cool. The people who study, the people who get good grades, the people who work hard are the people who make it in life and go further. If people make you feel bad for that, they're literally a loser. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know uh, I've been planning on filming it for like two months now. I hope you enjoyed and just know that high school is not the be all end all and life gets much better after all, given that you did not peak in high school. But yeah, don't forget to leave a comment, go check out Chegg, use my link below and like, comment, subscribe. I have so many fun videos planned this month. I just graduated university. So the world is my oyster and the world is your oyster too. Each other. The world would be a better place to live. Roman, Roman, vacacion. <laughs> 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 <laughs>